Okay. Yeah, I just don't know, Terry. I think I'm just not in the mood for it this week. Richard, you got to do it. There's hundreds of people out there want, wanting to watch the show. Ah, there it says 12 on the on the stats. Oh, you know, it's not started yet, Richard. I don't wait till it starts. I know they do, they love this. You can't let them down. I'm just really tired. I've been, you know, I've been doing. I've been. We're recording relativity today and tomorrow. You know, it's it's a lot. I've been driven to London and back and. You know, I'm just, I'm really, really tired. Well, you're always so you're tired. I know, but I'm even more so than usual. And I just don't know if I can give my best. You've got to get out there, Richard. You're a professional. You've got to go out there and give them everything you've got. They're, they're, they're sending on you. Well, it's nice you say, Terry. I just worry, you know, this show is not really taking off in the way I thought it would. This is like 52 episodes. That's what enough for one every week of the year. I thought this would be my my ticket back to the big... It could be your ticket that rich. It could be your ticket back to the big time. I'm just worried, you know, that I'm... By doing this stupid puppet show that often just looks like it hasn't been... Obviously, it's been tightly scripted, but it looks like it hasn't been. That I'm pissing on my legacy. Hmm. What, what does that mean? What is that little noise mean? Nothing. What? You don't think? You don't think I have a legacy? Well, don't you got? Don't you got much of a legacy of you? I've got a legacy, mate. All right, I've got a legacy, and I don't want people tuning into this. You know, I haven't seen Rich Terring since nineteen ninety nine when he I used to love this morning, Rich not Judy. I wonder what he's up to. They tune in, see this thing. I'm rubbish. No. Well, look, you might not to go well. You better go. No, you're not rubbish. You're good at do what you're doing is good. I don't think it's very good. What? I mean, you know, it's good, Richard. That you know, it's it's apples and oranges, isn't it? It's not apples and oranges. It's a man being young and having a career, and then a man being old and having a mental breakdown. Yes, yeah, that. <laughs> okay. All right. How long? Is, you said it was a minute there. Yeah, it was a minute to that. A minute ago. What, so are we on air now? No, no, I can't, you know, as always. All right. Just remember, Rich, when I get to the last two or three numbers, I don't say anything. I just say, I just nine those so it doesn't come across onto the broadcast. I know all about that. I've been in, I've been working in TV for 30 years, not consistently, but uh, 30 years ago, I started working TV. And then I worked for TV for about five years. Then I didn't work in TV for quite a long time. Then I did a bit of TV. And then I didn't do anything. Then I did... No, 2011, I had quite a lot of stuff. Then there was quite a long gap. And then I've been doing Taskmaster, haven't I? Yeah. I do films now, anyway, so I don't, you know... Yeah, I know. So, is it... Are you counting me? You meant to be pepping me up, to Terry. You're the producer. You meant to pep me up, so I'm ready to go entertain these... Fucking idiots! Oh, there's 128 of them now. There must be. Yeah, it's because you know it hasn't started yet. Rich. When it just starts, it'll it'll go up higher. Okay. Well, how how long? It feels like this has been longer than a minute. I thought we were meant to start at eight o'clock. It's eight o three. Oh, oh yeah. Um. Yeah. No. I'll count you in. What's happening, Terry? Something gone wrong? No, nothing's gone wrong. Just get ready. Ten, nine, eight, seven. I oh, know. Six, five. I don't have to count any, uh, any. Terry, I know. Four, three. What's happened? You, why aren't you, why did you stop counting? Hello, my fan friends. Welcome to uh, Ali and Harry's, Richard Harry's Twitch of Fun. It's a sideways look at the news. Every week I look through the newspapers. So you don't have to. You can get your news, all the news uh, for today. <coughs> Excuse me, today. Oh, frog in my throat. That's not a good start, is it? That could be a good uh, character, actually. Frog in my throat. In fact, you could. That would be. I don't know. Never done that. Just a frog comes out. And it wouldn't be my hand. It would be a frog. Comes out. I'd be talking. Come out. Hello. No, I can't do another French character. Come Hello. I wish I. I wish I could fly. That's all. Sort of Hold on. Um. It's not easy being green, trying to live... That's been done. Yeah, but Jim Henson didn't think to put it in his throat, did he? <laughs> to be honest, he might have died earlier if he'd done that. Anyway, look, 
and look, what this is, it's a showcase for my talents. Um, it's, um, I'm sure one week the TV commission is going to tune in and hopefully not this week. I mean, God, look at me. I mean, I'm gorgeous, but you know, um, we'll look at the news. We look at the different news in the, in the papers. I use uh, the internet now, and uh, for, and then um, I do a sideways look. And uh, this isn't what exactly I do on TV. With a bit more budget, I do a bit more. Although we're getting some new equipment in this week. Um, thanks to everyone who uh, backed the uh, the eBay auction. Um, one person hasn't paid up and gone very quiet. You know who you are. Um, but thank you to everyone else who's been very good. And um, whew, look at me. Whoa. I used to be on the proper telly. Um, and I will be again with this, with Rich Chaney's Twitcher Fun. Uh, sideways look at the news. Um, this is why, this is the main news story I spotted this week. Um, I say the Afghan couple regret being sent to Scotland. They were they came from a war zone and they got sent to Scotland again. Oh, no. Well, we've made a terrible moment. Send us back to Afghanistan. We don't want to live here. Rich, you know they, they, their tail's stuck on now. What are you saying? Their tail's stuck on now. What are you saying, Ali? The Scotch Cathedral's tower stuck on. You can't be rude without them now. But they were what? They, I thought there was a power cut there. Yeah, they, they fixed it now. So if they can tune in, they, they won't like you being rude without Scotland. Now they can hear you. Um, if there are any Scotch people watching, I do apologise. Um, I thought you couldn't see because of the uh, the pad. Please don't cancel me in Scotland. Um, it's one of the only places I'm allowed to perform anymore. Would, thanks for sorting that. Spotting that, Ali. Oh, it's all right. Hello, everyone. Hello, rap fans. It's me, Ali. It's good to be here. Hello. I'm winking at it, though. I'm winking at it. Woohoo! Oh, I'm cheeky me. Aside, I'm not particularly cheeky. Woohoo! Sit on it, daughter. I would like you to stop. I know my mum listens to Relativity. She was listening to it t today. Um, but um, I hope she doesn't watch this because this is, you know, very... Very offensive. It's a very sad story, actually, about the Afghan couple. They regret being sent to Scotland. They feel isolated and alone. They, they, you shouldn't be making light of that kind of stuff. You need me here to help you out, Richard, with comedy. And lots of transient subjects of comedy. And let's not sit on it, though. Just sit on my dig tatty and that's a cock. So you're going to tell me what's appropriate for comedy? Yes, Richard, that's my job. Hello, everyone. It's me, Ali. Hi, I nearly, it's nearly my birthday. Can't wait the birthday donkey to give me the dance. And to give you the what the dunce, the dumps, the dunce, Richard, the dunce, the Ryan blessed the dunce, Brian blessed the dumps. Um, sit on it, Lord. <laughs> um, well, look, lovely to see you again. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? I was hoping you know you'd be on top form because uh, yeah, look at your eyes, Richard. I mean, I always think my eyes come across looking quite bad on this uh, program. You know what with the droothy eyelid there looks like I'm winking at it, doesn't it? I am winking at it. Just try and stay on camera if you can. I know, I've been doing this a long longer than you have. I was there when cameras were invented. Uh, uh, that uh, your eyes they look like two little tissels in the snow tonight, Richard. Two little what? Tissels? Two little rissoles? Pissoles, Richard. Tissels in the snow. Tissoles. Pissoles. Th two thistles in the snow. That's quite a beautiful... Image, do they look purple? Yeah, they look blue or whatever colour they're meant to be. Anyway, I'm winking at it. I'm winking. I'm a little drunk. Sit on it. Um, have you had a good week? Richard, I've been stuck in a dock all week as usual. So this is my only bit of thought I come out once a week. If I'm lucky, sometimes you take time off. Well, I nearly took time off today. I mean, I'm working. I've got, I'm writing a book. Oh, you writing a book, are you? Very interesting. Is it about your bollocks by any chance? You don't need to be rude. Yeah, it's well, it's about. I think it is about both of them, but you know, one of them in particular. Oh, who you had a fucking show. Have you had cancer, Richard? No. Well, I don't like to talk about it. I like the, your charity. Yeah, a good lot of money raised for charity. Thanks to everyone who bought the uh, Royal Astor live stream. That's uh, on top of the thirty thousand pounds I got for running the half marathon. That's another nine thousand uh, pounds going to cancer charity, uh, and some going to the Museum of Comedy as well. So thank you to uh, no, about three thousand. So you know, I'm just one per. I'm just doing what I can. I don't like to talk about it. He doesn't like to talk about it. That's the thing with that, Richard. And I respect that about him. I respect it very much. Shall we look at the news? Shall we do that? Are you going to sing? Have we got any Christmas songs this week? I don't know what songs are going to come up. 
I don't prepare like you. Well, I don't really prepare. I just email myself. Why, when you do uh, on the Apple phone, why are you talking to me about this? When you put send an image across, like by, you know, send it to your computer directly, it comes out as a hike, H-E-I-C. Yeah, this is very interesting. Instead of a JPEG, oh, this is so interesting. And it needs to be a JPEG to go up on. If you send in your birthday things, it needs to be a JPEG. I can change it. But, you know, it's annoying. Why is it a hike? What's wrong with you, an Apple? Fucking pull yourself together, mate. Hike. No one wants that. And it doesn't, you can't put it up anywhere. Fucking load of shit. I've been signing up my bank account for my son. You're getting a bank account? He is. Well, I just, because, you know, he gets some money sometimes. It's nice for kids to have a bank account. He's 24. Um... And uh, that's so complicated. They don't have to do it all online. Oh, do they? You sound like a fucking granddad. And, and it, you had to put this photo. They needed a photo of me for some reason, but it had to be taken live. And then I was just sat there. They said, put the yellow dot on your nose. I put it there. And there was, nothing was happening. And it turned out it wasn't working. And I had to do it on my phone. I felt like an idiot. Thank you, Ian Nat West. Nathaniel West, actually. Rare. You can change it in the settings, that guy says. Oh, yeah, you can change it in the settings. We should change it to, so it's to JTEG. I can change it once you once it comes into the thing. You just save it and as a JPEG. It sounds like it's easier to change it in the settings. I'm not sure people would be interested in this. You brought it up. Well, I'm very tired. I don't know what's going to come out, do I? You're all right. You've been asleep in a fucking box for 129 years. 130 years. So, you know, you probably a bit sharper than me. I don't know what I'm going to end up talking about because I'm tired. I didn't sleep enough last night. And then I've been driving to London back. You said all this, not on air. I said it to, that was before that you heard me talking to Terry, the producer. Okay. The people at home don't know this. I shouldn't be, if I was professional, that would be nice at the start, wouldn't it? If I was a professional, if you were professional, you'd be on camera. You should know where to sit. Oh, fuck off. Um, if I was professional, I wouldn't even mention, I'd just come in and go, hello, it's me. Oh, I'm so happy. And it's great to be here. Fucking. Have you got any jokes of that? Who? The vaccine and who? Didn't, no, I'm not. That's, there was one in there. But I didn't put it in. Oh, it's good. People like that. Give people what they like. No, give people some stuff they don't like to punish them for tuning in. I don't think that's the attitude. Well, that's how I feel about it. I I hate the people who tune into this, and uh, they should have more respect for me than to watch this. They should go back and look at the good stuff I've done. Uh, it would be nice, wouldn't it, Richard? That would be nice if they were able to do that. Well, because it's not available on TV, and no, Richard, because you haven't done any good stuff. That's what I'm saying. Your shit, and you know, it's nice that you are providing entertainment to people who like shit stuff. You know, they need to laugh too, don't they? They need, to, they need comedy too, even though it's shit. And they don't, they think it's good because they're idiots. You know, I don't like this, and I don't like this stuff. I just uh, Stuart Lee. Oh yeah, you would do after what he did. It's clever, so clever, isn't it, what he does? It is very clever, yeah. Very clever what he does. He's a very clever, very clever comedian. Yeah, he's a great, great comedian. Um, thanks for bringing that up. Let's let's look into the... Let, that's the Afghan thing was just a little joke for my Scotch viewers. Um, I love you really, as you know. And uh, let's see what else is in the news. Old Allegra Stratton. It's, uh, that's a new uh, car by Ford. Oh, God in heaven. Is that the best you've got about that? The Ford Allegra Stratton. Oh, God in hell. It's so fucking shit. You're not meant to... You're meant to be on my side. I'm fucking... I'm London with you, aren't I? Just because you're a blood relative made me. I got to do with you. I'd like to do with a decent comedian. Like even... Uh, Michael McIntyre. Imagine what he could do with me. It's fantastic. And he'd be on TV. Everyone would love it. He could do, he'd do the jakes. He'd be dancing off each other. He could dance around. I could dance around. It'd be great. Nina Conti, I could have done Nina Conti's granddad could have made me, and then I could have had a decent ventriloquist working with me. Well, you know, there's no, you don't need to come on here and say everyone is doing better than I am. I'm on here, 142 people are watching me. I've come up with a joke about Allegra sounding a bit like a car. It's so good, Allegra Stratton. It doesn't sound like a car when it's two names, though, does it? And it's the Austin Allegra as well, that's what, that's what it should be. Yeah, you didn't even get the car out. Well, I don't know much about cars. I don't really like cars. I just It just occurred to me in the moment. It occurred to you in the moment. I've thought about it a bit before. I thought I could, when that comes up, I could say the Ford Allegra. Yeah, you've got the wrong naked car. Did you know that um, 
Ian Rolls from Rolls Royce died in a plane crash. Did you know that? Yes, I did know that. I listened to that Stephen Thry thing today as well. How did you? <laughs> okay, that's all I know about cars. Oh, God. Well, so let's have a look at. Oh, so what? Anyway, what's she done? Allegra Stratton. Who is she? Uh, she's brought Br- 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 Johnson's former press secretary, and she's resigned. She is that's a bit unfair. What is she calling a former press secretary because she just this second resigned? Um, she was seen. Um, Joking around last year, they recorded a, a practice. They were joking. What I don't like is right that people in stressful situations you know, are allowed to make jokes amongst themselves. Every single fucker in the world does it. Like, look, I'm not defending her because they should. You know, it's bad, right? But everyone, you know, doctors, uh, people like working in emergency services. They've all got a very dark sense of humour because they have to deal with stuff and that's the only way through it. And that's, in many ways, a comedian's job as well. Now, she shouldn't have done it on camera. She shouldn't have done it when but other people were dying at Christmas. They shouldn't have had a party. It's not really... All of this isn't really Allegra Stratton's fault, I don't think. And if it is her fault, it's the fault of everyone in that room. And if it isn't, it isn't their fault. Oh, it's the people who had a party in 10 Downing Street... And I'm trying to work out who could have, whose party that could have been. Because I've had quite a few parties in my house, but I've not been invited to them. Um, and so I can see that it's not necessarily the person who owns the house yeah, who gets invited to them. There's, but uh, I'm just trying to work out who should have gone, really. But also, I think people should be allowed to make dark jokes. They should probably not be being filled or have microphones on, which is the mistake people make. Yes. I'm, is it the mistake you're making here, Richard? What? You're making the mistake of making, you know, you're defending Allegra Stratton and this camera's on you. People are going to take that out of context. Going, Richard, edgy comedian Richard Herring says the lady who joked about people dying at home. Well, she didn't. She joked about the party they might or might not have had that they obviously definitely had. But, you know, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be, a, I mean, she should be in trouble because she got caught. But what I'm saying is everybody, all the people at the home go, mm, how dare they, how dare they make a joke when I was, I couldn't go to my Christmas party because of my thing. Everyone makes those jokes. Everyone does it. She didn't go on TV and do it like I am. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem you're the isn't it? Well, anyway, I'm very tired. Sorry, I'm not trying to defend the, the Tory party, though. You know, the more, the older I get, the more that I just think maybe they... Maybe they're the best party after all. Is that what happens? I'm very old and I certainly never come to that conclusion, I have to tell you. Well, you're the least right-wing person on this show, Ali, yes. Uh, which isn't saying very much, um, to be fair. Um, anyway, I feel a bit... I feel a bit... Uh, look, you're all crying, everyone's going... And then what I don't like I as well, right, is that she gets sacked and then and says sorry and everyone goes, oh, the crocodile tears, oh, it's too late to cry now. So you can't fucking win, can you? She's she's lost her job. She's apologised. She's re- she acknowledged what she's done is wrong. It's gonna. She says it's gonna haunt her for the rest of her life. It will. That'll be all anyone remembers about the Austin Allegra Stratton. That's all people are gonna people are gonna be calling her that now after tonight's show because some pricks come up with that name. Uh, and uh, you know maybe she's genuinely sad, uh, but you should, they they you can't even go. Oh well, good on her for resigning and and being and being sorry. You can't win, can you? You're still, no, no, you're not really sorry. You're just pretending to be sorry. She is just pretending to be sorry, though. Yeah, I mean, probably. So, you know, what, what, you, what point are you trying to make? I don't know. I just don't like to see a uh, Tory cry. You don't like that? No. <laughs> um, uh, someone, someone's pointed out her husband's the editor of The Spectator. I think she'll be all right. Oh, OK. Yeah, she'll probably be OK. But, you know, if people apologise... Like, A, judge not lest you be judged. I believe it was me who said that first. Are you saying, oh, Jesus? I'm not saying I'm, that's for other people to say. But if you feel confident that you've never made an inappropriate joke amongst your friends, you know, crack on. And uh, if someone apologises, I don't know, and resigns, I don't know, maybe go, OK, fair enough. Uh, you know, I think the one thing you should be cross about is the right per- the person who should have resigned or who should be in trouble is not in trouble. The many, many people. All right, Richard, get get over yourself. Though. Just uh, just get some of the kind of po-faced fucking... Don't you think? Yeah. You agree with me? Not really, no. I think you're an idiot. I think you're digging yourself deeper into a hole. Just toe the line, Richard. Toe the line. Or you'll get cancelled. 
I can't get cancelled for saying be not, don't judge people and be nicer to people regardless of whether you agree with what their politics are. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to get back on the BBC and it seems to me that they they really like the Tories and stuff. And that's what I'm trying to do. So just let me go with this. And when I'm on, then I'll, I'll bring down the system from the inside. That's the, you know you're saying this out loud. I'm not saying it aside. Oh, sorry. I'm saying it aside to you. If I get on the BBC, I go, oh, I like that slightly right-wing comedian, which Terry seemed to be... You know, you don't see many comedians d defending the Tories. Get him on and I'll get on and then I'll be like, go, no, the BBC is all... Come on, it's all corrupt. Bryce Johnson is a lie sometimes. I'll say that on telly. And then um, they'll all come crumbling down. And they'll go to, and then everyone will go, Richard, you, you did it. And I'll go, yeah. And you thought I'd turned in you. You thought I'd changed. But I did it for you. And they go, we, um, we love you, Richard. You're my heroes. Yeah, I know. I'm your heroes. And they go, Sorry, we were so excited. We said heroes instead of heroes. That's all right. I'll, well, I'm not sure. You've got to, I, I only want people following me who know how to speak. Do good grammar and stuff. Oh, sorry, is that what you said? Yeah, okay, well, I'm great. So let's, now let's, I'll just do a sketch show where I talk to puppets. Now I've done that. And that's, yeah, all right. Can you just do that from home? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I want to do it on TV. We liked it when you were bringing down the government. Well, I've stopped that now. I'm doing puppet, I'm doing a puppet show. The puppet show is what I wanted to do. Are you going to do this on your own? It seems like it's you doing two, you doing all the voices. Yeah, but it's someone else that fucking go. This is just the new doing a big monologue about how much you love fucking uh, Allegra Stratton. So you just love her. I do quite. I love her when she's all happy and, and joking. But when she's crying, it's a mess, isn't it? Don't like her then. I don't like her then. I liked her when she was all. <laughs> <laughs> she would be filmed. We shouldn't say this. We could get into trouble. That's when I liked her. That's when she was at her best for me. Well, you're very different than those people. Now, she was right up there with Pretty Patel for that when she was... Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now look at her crying. You never see Pretty Patel crying on a doorstep. That's, I can guarantee you that. Crying anywhere. She would never. She will never She will never cry for another human being. Um, yeah, probably for herself, thinking about it. Right, let's next to the next one. Uh, and uh, BJ, old BJ. There's a few BJ stories. BJ considers stripping passport from class, class A drug users. Um... Which, uh, hand in hand with the other story, uh, that uh, sniffer dogs could prowl corridors of, corridors of power amid claims drug abuse is rife that 11 out of 12 toilets checked in the House of Commons had cocaine around the wash basins and stuff. Uh, so people aren't only taking drugs, they're being very careless with it and dropping loads of it on the in the toilets. Um, so uh, there he is in his... Police, you know, it was just he was with the police, but you know he's just a big fan of the police, the uh, that the nineteen seventies, nineteen eighties, uh, fake reggae band, and um, he was just out wearing that stuff, and they said, "Oh, come with us, we're doing a drug bust." So that's all that happened there. Um, but uh, do you think Doris Johnson's ever taken a drug, Richard? I well, you know, he can't he can't have done, can he? Because he's saying he must be very confident that he's never taken a Class A drug of any kind. You you think so? I think he must ne have never taken a Class A drug because that what he would be saying is, I want my passport port stripped from that. So I don't think any of the Tories have, have taken Class A drugs because it must be all the Labour people in, in the House of Commons doing it because that... What did that Michael go? Didn't Michael go the nits taking cocaines? I don't know. I don't... I wouldn't like to say that in case that isn't the true. Um... I mean, I wouldn't have thought so. He so, looks so bored. I mean, I think a cocaine would kill would kill um, Gove just dead, wouldn't it? If he sniffed one of those up. <laughs> his oleaginous flesh would fall apart. His mouth would all just got bubbling about his mouth. Oh, why did I take a cocaine? <laughs> I think that's what would happen to him if he took a cocaine. How do you know so much about cocaine? I don't know very much about cocaine. But... I have uh, taken maybe three cocaines in my life. Uh, so by that standard, you know, do I have to have my passport? You, you, you know, you just got your passport stripped off. Why well, is it going to be stripped from me? Or do I, do I just have to give it back? Well, you think you think someone's going to come and strip it off you? Yeah. Well, am I wearing it? Mate? Am I sort of wearing it coquettishly over my body? Just some of the pages covering like a fig leaf or... 
is someone is how do I hide it about my person? Someone strips me and then gets what does it mean? Strip me? Won't, I'm just good. they're not going to strip me of it. Are they just going to say can we have that back? And if I go no, they will go well we'll just cancel it on the computer. And I go well give it a go. Try your hardest and they'll they will they'll be able to do it. And uh, that'll be the end of it. You're doing quite well, Richard. You know, you're, you're more loquacious than usual as a result of uh, zero sleep. Maybe. I mean, I'm just spouting a lot of nonsense. Yeah, this is very much true. I am the one who's holding things together here and being sensible and not doubting up a load of stupid crap. But uh, I think it's working quite well for you, the uh, the tiredness and the lack of sleep. You know, you're, at least you're coming up with something rather than sitting there like a learner and letting me do the talking. I don't think that's fair. I think I'd, um, I think I'd usually... More drug news as well before we get on to uh, the I'm jumping I'm in the head, but Pablo Escobar's past Escobar's um, that's easy for you to say. Well, you say it. Pablo Escobar. Well, that's pretty good. Pablo Escobar. How did you do that? You said that perfectly. Pablo Escobar. No, no, you messed up. Pablo Escobar. That's really good. How can you say Pablo Escobar? Pablo Escobar. It's easy. Not quite as well as me, but there's going to come a point when you're speaking more clearly than I am. Pablo Escobar. Uh, he's got cocaine hippos, um, which, you know, I've heard of drug mules, Richard. That, that's ridiculous. Have you prepared that? No, I, that sounds like a joke you prepared. No, I just came up with that. So I think uh, Pablo Escobar, um, I mean, it's a genius thing with him because there's a lot of room inside a hippo. And I don't think anyone, if you're taking a hippo through customs, I don't think any... They're very vicious. You know, a lot of people die because of hippos, generally because they're charged down by them. Isn't that the thing? Well, I don't know if it's even true, but supposedly a lot of people die but get killed by hippos. But you could fit a lot of cocaine inside those and you take it through customs and it's going to be a very brave uh, customs officer who goes, I'm going to stick my hand down either end of a hippo, to be honest. But you just get them to store it. I mean, you know, maybe that's maybe they're not even that fat. He's got. He had loads of... C- cocaine hippos and he would take them across it's like Hannibal um, Hannibal crossing the Alps with loads of cocaine yeah well an elephant's a good place isn't it because an elephant can just stick it all up his trunk no one's going to look no one's going to think to look up the trunk are they they'll look at the bum they'll look in the mouth they'll check the tusks they'll try and unscrew the tusk no one's looking up the trunk are they now, I would, if I was Pablo Escobar yes is you the Tadlo Escada? If I was Pablo Escobar, if I was Tadlo Escada, and you were a hitto, would you still love me? Would you like me to cocaine in your dig hitto now? Yeah, it's good. I don't know what song we're parodying then. No, I'm not sure either. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, you know, we could, they, no one's looking at the trunk. The danger is, I suppose, that the elephant just, you know, either sneezes and it all comes out, or just thinks, "I'll hoover that up." That's what that's what trunks are made. I mean, a cocaine-addled elephant. You're, you're on fire, Richard. What's going on? You don't even need me here. I know this is what I could bring to the TV. You're just making this stuff up as you go along. It's incredible. I know I haven't prepared. I just thought cocaine hippos would sound like a funny thing. I thought you might come up with drug mules or something. That's a kind of Victorian joke. You. Yeah. Uh, I've been listening to Stephen Fry's Edwardians, yes, I know, which is sort of what you are. You're, I'm the Victorian, Richard, yeah, but late Victorian. Um, very interesting times, wasn't it? The old uh, Edward the Seventh and that. You just remember him, of course, and then the Royal and Rich Queen Victoria, and then the, your great granddaughter, and then the Hidden. You didn't get up to any shenanigans. Um, it's funny to think you're that, you know, you're you're that old. Yes, and very old, 130, Richard, nearly, and very nearly 130. Cocaine hippos. I don't see how sterilising them is going to help stop them. If anything, you know, they're going to be not interested in having sex because they're sterilised. They'll be more into taking the cocaine across the border. So they should really think twice about it. Um, don't stare. It's not the hip- hippos. Well, don't blame the hippos. They were they, they were patsies in this, weren't they? You've done very well, Richard. The, that idea, taking that literally. Thank you. And um, another BJ story. Uh, BJ, uh, a baby daughter for Boris Johnson. Uh, as I'd forgot. I'd forgotten she was pregnant. Yeah, I'm not sure she. Now some people claiming that the baby is just a distraction, a way to distract us. I hate Twitter. God. Yeah, are you making that clear? Some people claiming that the baby is a way to distract us from the Christmas parties. That is unplanning, isn't it? He planned ahead there. Well, he's all, that's maybe why he has so many babies, just so that 
if a scandal breaks. Oh, here comes another one. Luckily, this one was with his wife. Um, but, you know, it could be equally be just another person comes along. Oh, there's a terrible story. I'm in trouble. Oh, look, I've had a baby. It could be that, but I'm not sure it is that. Other, also, people saying that the Christmas party story was a, a, it's a dead cat or something, a dead dog in it. I don't like the dead cats, I think they call it. So that you get concentrating on that story rather than the real story. They don't want you to concentrate on. But those people are also saying that the media are completely enthralled to Boris Johnson or put whatever he wants anyway. So he doesn't need to put a scandal that is in serious danger of toppling him and certainly has damaged his credibility as the Prime Minister and shortened, I would say, his tenure, hopefully at least. Uh, he'll ride it through, but it's just everything's chipping away uh, as we as people start to see through the veneer of what they have allowed in, and including the people, not just the people who voted from the people in his party who allowed this to happen just because they knew it would get Brexit through. And um, you're suddenly going all anti Tory, Richard. Yeah, I can't hide it long enough, can I? That's the problem. That's why I'll never get on TV. I can't hide it long enough. Uh, but, you know, I don't think you hide a story. Yeah, they're, they're changing all the immigration rules and stuff, which is terrible, but I don't think that would get any coverage anyway. So, you know, it's not like, let's hide that coverage of something that won't really get any coverage by admitting to something much, much worse that will really upset people and people who voted for us and won't vote for us again. But anyway, I think the baby is definitely was to distract from the uh, from the Christmas party. So well done. To, well done, John Boris, for having another child. How many is it now? Do you know? It's an, it's an infinite amount, Richard. Well, it could be, you know, it's. Uh, I was reading in Genghis Khan has thousands of children. It could be the 21st century Genghis Khan. Yeah. I mean, why not? What's the point in being a leader of a country if you can't just have sex and children with lots of different people? That's my, that's, that's, that's a little food for thought, isn't it? A little food for what? For thought. Yeah, you said it wrong. I know. Um... <sighs> You're doing well, Richard. Carry on. You got. You've done so much. You're doing so well. Well, you know, I like it when it's just you and me. I don't like all the others coming in. We have the cocky carrot hasn't come in. Did somebody say come in? Because that, that's an invitation to arrive. No, coming. That would have been good. Coming. Yeah. Did somebody say uh, you would like me to come in you? Oh, I would like that and not enjoy that too. Go away. Um. It's gone very well, Richard. Thank you. Thank, you know, the way you're saying that makes me think it hasn't gone very well. Uh, what else is there? And there isn't much more, really, because I was going to do this story, then I realised this was just a, from a joke. Someone sent me this, but this is actually a joke. It's not a new story, but imagine if it was. Um, man crashes into river after attempting to give himself a blowjob whilst driving, uh, which, uh, you know, was sent to me because of the, my podcast. Oh, you got a podcast at that? Having... Blowing yourself or driving? No, there's a question about can, have you ever tried to suck your own cock? But it's from a sort of National Enquirer uh, broadsheet or something. It's not uh, It's not true. He's rescued with his cock in his mouth. I mean, A, if you drove into the... I don't know, he nearly got through as a genuine news story for me before I looked at the paper and went, what the fuck am I doing? This isn't real. But um, is, have you ever had sex in a car, Richard? I, I can't... I'm the puppet. I can't drive... Have you ever had sex in the car? I've had, I have received oral sex whilst being driven and while not by the driver, uh, and whilst um, whilst driving. Have you? Yeah. So you know that's you lived quite the life, haven't you? I have, but I've never attempted to give myself a blowjob whilst driving a car. And that I would, if this was true, I I would, I would mad, I would, I would uh, be I'd admire the uh, the gentleman and. and you know, it, I think dying in a river in a Goose Creek would have been uh, the least that could have the the worst thing. Have you ever, have you ever tried to suck your own cock? I, I, I can't say I ever have unless he did on another one of these. Yeah, well, I don't remember it. So we see if you can do it. Uh, well, you know, there's people watching. I'm just no, it is absolutely anatomically beautifully created. This uh, this this I want to say doll. That's not really on, is it? A little human being. I am perfectly formed and everything is in the place it should be. And uh, even when fully erect, I cannot suck my own cock. I can suck my own foot. <laughs> but, uh, which, you know, you could take that out of context. Um, so, so, uh, Steve 
Stavrum Yalabita says he wouldn't bother the papier mache get a little might get a little damp. Well, that's one of the dangers of having sex when you have a papier mache cock. It is that it's worth it. It should just do the fun of it. I mean, why is your mouth still moving? Why, why did I stop talking? I don't know. I was just in awe of you drinking that. Sit on it, though. I'm gonna sit on it. Um, let's have some. We've done pretty well, you know. Fucking hell, I, I, we've ca I, we've carried on talking. You fucking carried on talking. You can't so look. None of that language. Oh, this is on the air. That could be the end of your career. I thought we were off air. Well, you can't say that kind of stuff anyway. When you're off air and just having fun, you could, should be allowed to say the things you want. The kind of stuff we talk about, Richard, when the cameras aren't on, don't talk about that. It's amazing some of the views he excels that we know. We're just joking about it. We're just joking about those things. So, all right. Um, let's have some birthdays. We've got, we've got a few birthdays to get through this week. So uh, let's see where... There he is. You've lived another year and you haven't even died. Though cancer may be secretly creeping deep inside If you think that's worth a party, your brain's also going wonky Let's get an E or, or a kick from the reluctant birthday donkey Hee-haw, hee-haw, why can't I die? Ha 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 ha, it's me, l'anniversaire du French anniversary donkey Le N, this is very clear than in and I am French. And it's me. I am the nazi. I am the nazi character. It's me. Why, why, are, you, why are you talking in an Italian accent? Uh, I got confused because uh, there was another French character. And I did not know how to speak with... Uh, the, yes, I am a French character also. Yeah, I was hoping you two would never meet because you, unfortunately, you have the... Yes, it's truly has the same accent and the same voice. Yes, you have the same voice, don't you? I mean, I think yours is slightly higher, to be fair, Lanaversa. Yes, only truly because we are next to each other. So, uh, you know, uh, I do not like this carrot and uh, is as little as uh, uh, gross. Let's get the proper donkey in. Here he is. It's the birthday donkey. Oh, actually, French, uh, French donkey, oui. Oui, yeah, it works so well. That means oui, it's it très bien. Uh, we have an actual specific request for you. I had some bran flakes before the show, so I shouldn't. And it's all in my throat. I don't know when I'll end. This is from Michael Phillips. Uh, here he is. Uh, he has. It's not got a. He's got a puppet theme thing there, but it's not. Uh, it's a Baz Lightyear, which I don't know if that sh that should be allowed in this. It's there with a a young lady. Um. Could you fix it to have French donkey wish me a happy birth thirty eighth birthday on this week's uh, a, a, a hat off? Um, I take my hat off to you too. You should take your hat off. You're indoors. My birthday is Thursday 9th of December. That's today. It would make my day dear. The French do donkey's infectious joy for all things birthday. Attached to me king kicking Emperor Zerg's ass with my non robot wife. God, that guy got that guy got married. I mean, and you know, I mean, I'm not going to say she looks. Like a normal person, she's wearing some ear, weird ears, got pink hair, but she looks respectable. So he's done very well for himself for a man who dresses a bit like Buzz Lightyear as well. Anyway, I, I'm not here to uh, you. Uh, oh, bonjour, Michel. Je voulais vous encouler avec moi ce soir. What are you saying? Don't worry, Richard. I am speaking the French language and uh, he will understand. Uh, je uh, I would like to... What do you... Do, are you, did you change into English there because you realised it was impolite to talk in French? Yes, that is right. I was going to say it all in French. I would like to say uh, Joyeux anniversaire à Michel to a 38. Is that how you say 38? 38, I think. Je pense. You think? It's all there. Hand on there, Richard. I did not learn how to count so high. Is it just 38 or is it 38? 38. 38. Uh, le an uh, to infinity and beyond. After that, then my fan friend, I love you. Thank you for choosing me to give you the birthday wishes. Good. I hope uh, Michael's happy with that. You know, if, you, if I was on cameo or something, that would cost you hundred fucking quid. Free. That was free. 
Yeah, I can I die? We've got a couple for you to do. Um, we have, uh, let's have a look. Oh, this is a nice uh, picture. This is from Tim Stride. Uh, it's my 46th, but sorry, 42nd. So I apologise, Tim. It will be your 46th birthday one day. Uh, this Saturday, the 11th. So in response to your plea last week for birthday, I went in. I wasn't, didn't want to plea. Please find attached my submission for you and Donkey's consideration. I've ripped the idea off the front cover of the Fist of Fun Annual and brought it bang up to date. In doing so, because you see there's uh, Peter Dibdin, <laughs> that's bang up to date. Uh, there's Cucky Carrots in the King of the Worlds in there. Uh, and uh, I'm in there, but an old version of me. Uh, and Ali's replaced uh, Stuart Lee, which he does look like. Uh, in doing so, I noticed that back in the 90s, the cover already contained an Easter egg for future Ali and Sally fans, i.e. our present day. I've highlighted it with big yellow arrows. I don't know if you can see that there, but there, Ali and Sally are on the front page of uh, Fist of Fun Annual. Hope this is okay. Thanks. P.S. Kickstarter for a Twitch of Fun Annual. Nah, not a bad idea. Thanks, Tim Stride. Uh, happy 42nd birthday. He doesn't say what he wants. Let's give him... You can have the magic button. There's another one coming up, but he hasn't said what he wants. Give him a... Yeah, I kind of don't need a... Yeah, etc. Ah. Oh. From the birthday oh, bear, dear. happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. It's a special day just for you. Because today's the day the oh. world gave us you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's probably got Chris Evans, not that much. A lot of money, and, uh, and I bet he's. Uh, Oh, bollocks. Can you hear me now? Oh, you're saying the thing was mute. Uh, I think uh, Chris Evans probably wanked off during that. Am I, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I'm muted or not. The red, but the red lights on. So yeah, but you say good now, but you're a few seconds behind me, so I don't know. It was good, wasn't it? I think Chris Evans has definitely not that one has definitely wanked off, and and that one has definitely wanked off watching that. I think he got sexually excited by that. I can say that because he's not watching. And I, I can't see that he'd watch it tonight. That was nice. That was for you, Tim Stride. Um, <laughs> And uh, you'll be glad about this. I can see why Stavron Mueller Beta has been uh, in the twi Twitch chat a lot tonight because here he's coming up now. Did you, th did you think I'd forget you, Steve? And nearly did. I just remembered that I remembered that picture and then thought, where did that one come go to? Because you emailed in a full four days ago, <laughs> two days ago. Salutations, Rich. That's what I like to see. And this is, you know, that's the kind of bloke you're expecting to be a Twitch of fun fan, isn't it? When you look at that, I mean, he could be in Twitch of fun. He's not a million miles away. If I ever need a left bollock, he's not a million miles away. That's what I'm saying. I'm not having a go. I'm not having a go. I'm just I'm just saying what we're all thinking. Don't cancel me. Uh, he's made a beautiful uh, collage there. Here's my face plastered across one of Chris Evans' Not That One's fine graphics. I mean, it's not him that does it. Uh, it's, um, oh, fuck. Why did I? Why did I set myself up for that? It's in the credits at the end. Uh, Bobbin, Andy Bobbin, I think it's called. Uh, thank you very much for your fine work. It's been a little while since we've commissioned anything. Um, I'm very tired. Uh, for Doc, Don, could you be exceedingly depressed about celebrating? I'm 42 on Friday, the 10th. So unlike last year, I don't get kicks, jumps, or a magic button on the actual day itself. So he's already been on once, Steve. But thanks for coming back in. That's why I knew it would happen. We just get the same people coming back too. Um, any time near is good enough for me. Jolly please just still sailing on Ian Amazon's good ship Twitch for us each week. We all adore the superb sideways look at the news. Many thanks, Steve. That's very nice. So uh, he's 42 years old. <laughs> Why don't we give him 42 uh, eels? No, please don't make me do it. Come, it's been a while. All right. I'll... Do you have to do it? You're contractually obliged. All right. I wish I could hear that I haven't got ears, so oh, I can't. Shut up. I hope you're all enjoying this on the audio podcast. 
Yeah, this hurts me as much as it hurts you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm still laughing at calling him a left bollock. I apologise for that, Steve. Yeah, 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 yeah. 42. There's someone asking if Steve works in IT and he says he works in television. Fuck you, Steve. Fuck you, Steve Foster. That's what I think of your testicle face. <laughs> Uh, let's see how this guy's going. We haven't seen this guy on his own for a little while. Let's see how he's going on. Hey, it's me. I'm the king of the world. I like to be the king of the world. I jumped around because I'm the king of the world. And don't forget I'm the king of the world. Because I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. Can you hear the music for these things? I can't hear any music. Oh, your stick's broken. Yeah, I'm, I'm the king of the, I'm the king of the world. <laughs> do you remember how, how your voice is? I don't shouldn't do this straight after donkey. And the king, and the king of the world. Uh, 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 and the king of the world. Oh, 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 and the king of the world. Don't look at me. And the king of the world. Uh, 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 and the king of the world. And the king of the world. Oh, and the king of the world. Just in case the news didn't come across. The world. And the king of the world. What happened to the king of the universe? Well, the good thing about being the king of the world, Richard, is that I'm always in the world. The king of the universe has to go all around the universe, and that's a big place. So he's not here this week. Oh, I thought there was going to be like a payoff where you sort of had to fight each other and come together as one again, and one of you would triumph or whatever. No. <laughs> okay. And the king of the world. Now, uh, I just got you on this week, the king of the world. Yeah, because I'm the king of the world. Well, partly because you're the king of the world. But because I am the king of the world, if you were wondering, if you were wondering if I was the king of the world, I am the king. I wasn't wondering. I know you. I know you. I'm the king of the world. That's who I am. Well, there's some dispute about whether you are the king of the world because the king of the universe thinks he's the king of the world. No, he's the king of the universe. I'm the king of the world. Yeah, you know, it's just any in the chat and is that I'm the king of the world. I am the king of the world. The reason I got you on is because I'm the king of the world. No, the reason I got you on. It's because I'm the king of the world. No, I'll tell you why the reason I got you. It wasn't. It's part. You are the king of the world. And that's, you know, that's why you're here now in this the king of the world section. Because I'm the king of the world. Yeah. So you got me on because I'm the king of the world. Because I'm the king of the world. No. The reason I got you on is because I'm the king of the world. Stop doing it. I'm the king of the world. Though, Richard. I think it's in the detail. No. I'm the king of the world. Yeah, I know. But there's been speculation in the press here that I'm the king of the world. There's no speculation needed, Richard, because I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. Um, that you had a Christmas party in your pal in your kingly palace uh, last December when there were, everyone else was in lockdown, uh, and I just wondered if you had anything to to say about that. And the king of the world, and the king of the world, yeah, and we know you're the king of the world. But we, did you have a lockdown party? And the king of the world, I know you are the king of the world. But did you have a party in the, in your kingly palace? And the king of the world. You can't just ignore the... Just yes or no, was there a party? Yes, I am the king of the world. Is that the question? Yes or no? Yes, I am the king. I admit it. Uh, I didn't like to say it, but I am the king of the world. I am the king of the world. So, but can you just answer... I answered your question, Richard. Yes, I am the king. You're wondering who I was? And the king of the world. And the king of the world. Uh, uh. And what's happened to your stick? You, you must have stood on it and broke it. Okay. And the king of the world. Okay. It's the king of the world. And the king of the world. And the king of the world, Richard. I know. We're off air now. And the king of the world. And the king of the world. I know. Did you have a part there? And the king of the world. Oh, look out for me, because I'm the king of the world. Don't break the rules. And the king of the world. And the king of the world. I know. I know you're the king of the world. We're trying to get to the bottom. You said you were trying to get the bottom of whether I'm the king of the world and I am the king of the world. I know. I'm trying to get the bottom of whether you had a Christmas party. I am the king of the world. Well, that's you can't just when the allegation comes in, you can't just talk about something else like Peppa Pig or you know other kids TV or stuff. Fucking hell. Am I have I become Boris Johnson? Is that who I am? Hello, it's me, Rich Terry. I'm back. Um, hope you enjoyed the closing music there to King of the World. Um. He's the king of the world. His head's back on. What can I say? Um, 
I thought we might uh, have another crack at. Uh, have we got much? There's not much more to talk about. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about Tucker Carlson. Oh, let's. I tell you, who we'll talk about. Oh, the general chill to talk about that, doesn't he? Why don't we talk about? I just wanted to mention. Uh, big. I want a big shout out to Michael Sheen. Uh, he's turned himself into a not-for-profit actor, giving all his money away to uh, charities in Wales. Incredible guy. Yeah, you, you're a not the throttled comedian, aren't you, Richard? Yes, I, yeah, I'm very funny. Not, not my choice, though. Just that's the way it works out. You did not the throttle the, the years. You must be kicking yourself. You didn't get in the theatres about it. Yeah, very funny. It's, I mean, nobody could have a go at Michael Sheen. That's why I think he is. Oh, I think they could. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... The world is the world, so someone will be having to go. Oh yeah, don't you worry. Tigla have been sorry, I slurped a bit. They we that slurp over you a little bit. Uh, Tigla have a go. Oh, you got enough money already, so you can give all your money away, aren't you? Great. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he is great. It doesn't matter if he's made loads of money if he then gives it away. That's what all rich people should do. You're gonna give the all money away. I'm not that rich. You're doing all right. Well, maybe eventually, but I would like to get so rich. You keep saying this. That, you know, I can go to Cheddar and, and build them a big statue of myself. He said that last week. You know, give them something back. So it's nice. He's, you know, he's a good guy. More rich people, more super rich people with millions of pounds, which isn't me, should give, you know, not have to give everything away. I don't think he's giving everything away. He's just saying, I'll, you know, I'll, I've got enough to live on. If I, if I go and earn five million quid doing a film, I can give that to other people. I don't need it. Why don't people with billions of pounds say that? Millions of pounds say that. Yeah. I think you should do it. No, I don't want to do it. <laughs> um, I give. I know I do an awful lot of charity. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, okay. But, uh, you know, it'd be nice. I just think if you had that money, that was must be a nice thing to do, to use your money rather than have it hidden away in, you know, an offshore account. Good on Michael Sheen. I like him very much. And if you're watching Michael, you know... Um, I hope you're not squandering the Voice of the Stones millions on this on charity. You keep that. That's yours. You've earned it. Um, but you, you're a very nice man. I wish you and I could be married. If you weren't oh, just a new father and hadn't been married to some of the most or dated some of the most beautiful women in the world, I would just say I would love to you know, leave my family and live with just the two of us living together. Not necessarily in a, a gay way, but we would suck each other off and stuff. I'm sure Michael Sheen will be in touch, Richard. I'm sure he will. <laughs> when he sees you in this Suffolk show, yeah. He must be very jealous of your career, Richard. I'm sure he is. Because, you know, the thing I have is I just have control over everything I do. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I could do whatever I want. Yeah. But you choose that. You, you use that power to do this. Yeah. It's another hour-long show. It's going to be another hour-long show. I know. Let's have another. Let's get Sally back and sing another Christmas song, or the same Christmas song I thought we could do, and just see what happens this time. Hello, I'm just new, Sally. Nice to see you. Nice to be back two weeks in a row, Richard. It's so rare to have a woman on this show. I know it's where your hair's really in a state back there. Yes, I know you've got to take better care of us, Richard. You're going to destroy us. Ah, uh, well, it's nice you're being used, isn't it? I do feel like they're being used. Yes, look at that. My hair's basically hanging off my head, like not even on my head. Should we have another go, another go at Baby It's Cold? Because I didn't, we did, did, do, we didn't uh, do so well with it. I think, I mean, I haven't, we haven't rehearsed it and I haven't thought about it at all, but I reckon we can do better. Yeah, I'm game. Yeah, if you like. Okay. I ought to go home, the daisy's cold outside. It's all right, I've got the coat, the daisy's cold outside. I just clearly explained. I want to go and I had protection from the cold, so that's not an issue. It's really cold outside, though. Uh, I can always call a cab to come and get me. Don't call a cab because it's cold. The, the cab will have some heating in it. Not necessarily, not all cabs do. I'll get got an executive one that does have heating in it. Well, what if it's broken? It isn't broken. I use them all the time. Well, the, uh, it's, cold. it's still cold outside. I'll be inside in a car, in a jumper and a coat. I'll be fine, and then they'll drop me at my house, and I'll be all right. The day the is cold outside. Good. I hope you enjoyed that. That was that was, that was more like it, wasn't it? That was getting closer, Richard. I think that they also last week uh, Terry forgot the producer. I don't know who that is. They weren't who that is, so they wouldn't have met him. Uh, he forgot to press play and record on that bit, so he couldn't make a, the rec the hit record because I tried to get to Christmas number one. 
Um, and uh, so hope you got it there. That's the first verse. So we'll try and do another verse every week. Is it's cold outside? It's good, you know. It's a good way to get girls to stay with you. If you think, yeah, tell them it's cold outside, they have to stay with you. Then you just died your time, you know. Eventually, you wear them down. Good. That's uh, Victorian uh, dating techniques, there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's, it doesn't uh, play in the twenty twenties that we live in now. We've got twenty twenty vision now. I mean, no one's no. Some more people should have done that joke. Um, was there anything else we were going to have? No Trince Andrew this week? Nah, fucking. No right bollock? No, we had uh, the left bollock on, didn't we, this week? So we don't need the right bollock. Uh, we've done we've done 55 minutes, and I think that's the perfect length, really. So we don't need to talk about any of the other stuff. That I'll just check I haven't missed anything. Oh, they found, I, I, you know, I just, this, uh, there's nothing funny. So they found a group bloke who'd been crucified. Yeah, no, he fucking feels. Um... Is the only second ever Roman crucifixion victim discovered in the world? Yeah, well, you know, because they, they didn't leave them up, did they? No, but it's a, they found a bone with a nail in it. Pretty impressive in England. So, uh, you know, the other one was in Israel, from memory. No, I'm just fascinated by archaeology. And I just thought I'd share that nice, interesting bit. I think it was quite a rare punishment. Yeah. And, um, you know... I can't think. You can only think of those two. This guy, the guy in Israel, can't think of the, anyone else who's ever been crucified. So you know, it's uh, crucifixion. No, three didn't actually. Don't start doing money Piper sketches. That's how you wanted. It. That's what anyone mentions crucifixion. Crucifixion. No, they said I could go through. Live on an island somewhere. Oh, good, very nice. I look, mate. I've done this. I've had Michael Palin recite this sketch to me. I don't need you. Have you? Yeah, I don't need you reciting Monty Python sketches to me. I've actually had Monty Python sitting there willingly recite sketches to me. It was the best thing that ever happened to me until me and Michael Sheen sucking each other off and not in a gay way. Well, there's been some revelations this week, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. I think Richard was a bit too tired, and they said some stuff that you all regret in the morning that uh, if you're watching Michael Sheen. You know, this the the new, you know, if they, the tenant can't do the new series, that thing, you get Richard on. At least you're the unsafe distance. And uh, look at the news. Uh, I should think they'll do that doing this weekly, the, the foreseeable future, won't you? And get a their audience again as everyone's locked away again. Well done, everyone. Well done, you stupid cunts. are not wearing your masks. Not getting your vaccinations. We're going to be right back in the shit. <coughs> well, let's hope so. Um, coming up to the end of the year, uh, probably, I think there were... Um, They'll probably be able to show next. Maybe we'll do a Christmas show next week. Because it's going to... What's it going to be? Let's see. It's the 14th. No, it's the 11th. It'll be, is it going to be Christmas Day in two weeks? Is that what it is? But, uh, uh, is that right? Nearly. Not quite. Okay. Sure. Uh, 23rd. Yeah, that should be the Christmas show, the 23rd. If I'm not doing something else. My wife's arranged all sorts of social stuff. I don't like it. So I might not be able to do it. Um, we're going to finish Series 4 of Relativity tomorrow. Fingers crossed. And I uh, hope you're enjoying Series 3 being repeated on Radio 4 at the moment. Go to BBC Sounds if you enjoyed it. Um, do you buy my book, Would You Rather, or my book, The Problem With Men? Perfect Christmas gift. Stop doing the plugs. I've got to get something out of this. Do subscribe, become a badger, all that stuff. Thanks very much for watching. And remember, baby, it's cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. Daddy, 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 daddy. Daughter, it's cold outside. I don't go round to my mum's and start singing this song to her. That will not be appropriate. Sit on it, daughter. Sit on it. Good night, everyone. Happy birthday to everyone who has a birthday. Don't get crucified out there. We love you. Goodbye. <laughs>
the king of the universe. Bye.